Okay, um, more sample means. Remember, this is the sampling distribution of the sample mean, applying the central limit theorem, which allows us to fill our normal distribution curve full of the mean, or the average, of the values of our samples. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to solve for the probability that a sample mean is less than 56. So I've still got the same curve I worked with last time, except now I want to know what's the probability that the x bar, or that the mean or average of my sample means is less than 56. So I've located the area of the curve that I'm interested in, which is designated by this little nifty yellow arrow right here. And I'm simply going to apply that revised or new and improved version of the z-score, where I use x-bar instead of x, and I make this adjustment in the denominator using the standard error of the mean in order to calculate a z-value. So let's roll with a little bit of quick math. So, magic, isn't it? Um, let's see. I substituted in everything I needed into my z-score formula, where I said x-bar was 56, the mean we still know is 60, so it's basically the same denominator, my 12 standard deviation divided by the square root of my sample size of 9 gave me a z-score of 1.00. I went to my normal distribution table. When I got there, it told me that the area between this calculated z-score of 56 and the mean, remember this is what it gives me right here, was 0 0.3413. I again used what I knew, and that is the entire left or lower side of that curve was 50%. The area between 56 and the mean of 60 was 0.3413. When I subtracted it out, it gave me 0.1587. Fundamentally, what that simply tells me is that the probability that the sample mean is less than 56 is simply right here. Whoops. 0.1587 or 15.87%. So you guys just hang on and I'm going to do one that's in between and hopefully that'll make this sample mean stuff make sense. Thanks.